Shalom, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Let's give it all praise to the Most High, name of His only begotten Son, name of the Holy Spirit. Double honor to our teachers and elders and apostles, a great millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole folk scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to go into this um this video, going into this post, man. All right, I saw this post on some harlot's um Snapchat, and this is what she put. All right, I guess some some another harlot off of Instagram posted this, and it says, "What's your biggest fear?" Question mark. And this is what she put. This this was her biggest fear. All right, <laughs> let me zoom in a little bit. This is her biggest fear, and what this means is her biggest fear is for her to be all about one man, but he's thinking about more than one woman. All right, which is natural for a man to desire more than one woman. All right, but in this society, these women think that they have power over the man. And really, they feel like a man's supposed to be only obligated to deal with them, which as long as a man is not dealing with a woman who is married, a married woman, he's not going off. There's nothing wrong with a man being with more than one woman, as long as, the, as long as that woman is not already with another man. All right. But in this society, a woman to tell you what you can and can't do as a man. All right. Which is why this society must be destroyed. This society must be you know, put back into its righteous order. And that's what our Lord Yahweh Shai is coming to do to put his world back into his righteous order. All right, so I want to grab a few scriptures so you already know the first one that came to mind. All right, you already know the first one. All right, so let's just get right, get right into it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 4, verse 1. It says, And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our, to take away our reproach, which means, you know, that reproach is not having a man. And a lot of you women are not going to have a man when all hell breaks loose, when all the chaos, you know, hits and... Destruction comes. A lot of you women are not going to have a man, you know. I saw. I mean, I, I saw a woman say that she broke up with with, with 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 her man because he was texting another girl or some 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 shit, you know. And just the 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 the, the mindset of you women here in this Western society is completely through, man. You know. And what you don't realize is when 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 destruction comes and all hell break loose, you are gonna need a man. All right. It says um, in the NLT, it says in that day, so few men will be left. And it's already more women than there are men. You don't understand that? There's not enough men to go around for every woman to have one man. That's just lo that's just thinking logically. OK, the Lord created that way on purpose because, you know, there's supposed to be more women than there are men because and this is why men have so much seed, so much sperm. And in our kingdom, we're going to have thousands of wives. OK. It says. And you women that got a problem with that, you either get an order or you're going to be left here to burn in Babylon. OK, you're going to be you're going to be you're going to, be, you're going to burn just like this whore Babylon. All right. Quite frankly, I mean, we, we, we're not pulling no punches. We're not uh, pandering to no, no to no damn emotions. We're not none of that, man. We're going to tell it to you flat. If you don't like it, you can get the fuck on. All right. It's, it, it's our way or the highway. OK. It says, in that day, so few men will be left that seven women will fight for each other, for, for each man. They're going to fight for a man, saying, let us all marry you. We will provide our own food and clothing. Only let us take your name so we won't be mocked as old maids, right? Because if a woman doesn't have a man, she is, she is mocked. You know, you see this, you know, t t t to this day. You got women that um, don't have a man. And their family will kind of make fun of them. Oh, where your man at? Where your man at? Such and such, man. All right. So for, for, for a woman to not have a man is not a good thing, especially when times of chaos. Because, see, when all hell break loose, if you don't have a man, you know, shivery is going to be there. Ain't no man going to be, you know, jump, you know, uh, you know, r risking their life to save you, you know, no matter how, no matter how good you look. And if they do, if they do come in that spirit, guess what? They, they then, then they're going to be dead. OK. A lot, a lot of you simps are going to be on your way out. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. You see, children are your oppressors, which is these Edomites. They're oppressing us. They came out of us and they're oppressing us. And they don't want us, you know, putting this ideology in these and, and, and these, these these women's heads that they queens and this, that and the third. Which when you go into the word queen, you know, it just means prostitute, you see. So it's cool for a, a woman to, be, to, to play the field and, you know, get you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, rack up her body count, you know, destroying herself. But for, for men to do it is looked down upon. It says, and women will rule over them, 
O my people, they which lead thee cause you to err and destroy the ways of thy paths. You see? So you you been led by these women. You know, I remember I had a nigga tell me one time who, who claimed to be in the truth. A nigga told me that um, you know, he said if man if if, if, if my, my uh, woman uh you know fucking around man, I'd rather just not know. I said what the fuck? You know, like that song. Um, I don't wanna know how I go. If you play me, keep it on. I look, I look that nigga crazy. I said, what the fuck, boy? Hell nah, man. I want to know, you know. And and and, and, and I'm a Homer Simpson or as like Bart, like uh, Homer be doing Bart. <laughs> okay, you you know. But nowadays, Jake, you know, they 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 they, they, they are being ruled over by these women, letting women tell you what you can and can't do. And that's the pride of these women, you know. And 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 there's no men out here to correct them. You see. So now the Lord is setting up men. The Lord said, gird up thy loins like a man. The Lord is setting up men. And he's going to, um, you know, uh, let me see. Um, the Lord is setting up men. All right. And, and, and the Lord is, on, is, is only dealing with, with uh, men, you know. Let me see. No, this is, uh, let me go up. Let me see. All right. Let me grab this real quick, too. Where are we at? Uh, this is something else. I just spirit came on me, told me to grab this. So let me grab this too. Um, because you women gonna find out how important it is to you know to have a man in this day we coming into. You going to understand how feeble you really are. You know when there's no nine one one, when there is no cops, when there is no, you know no 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 none no, no, none of that. You're going to find out just how feeble you are. And without a man, you are, you are going to be easy pickings. Okay, a woman that has a man, they don't, you know, it don't even matter if this man is, a, is, is the biggest wimp. She, she, the woman that has a man is going to be much better off than, than, than a woman that doesn't have a man. Isaiah 32, verse 2, And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water, and a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So when this you know economy collapses and all hell breaks loose, you women uh, are going to have more need for a man than a man is going to have need for, for uh, you, quite frankly. All right. And the main you know, thing is going to be protection. You're going to need protection. All right. But just to touch, touch on it, man, a, uh, another thing, too, is that we are allowed to have more than one woman. You got IUIC saying, oh, if you have more than one woman, you're going off and yada, yada, yada. You know, no, 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 no. We are allowed to have more than one woman. It says Exodus chapter 21, verse 10, if he take him another wife, so he, if he already has a wife, he taken another wife, her food and raiment and her duty of marriage shall not shall he not diminish. So this man can have more than one wife as long as he can take care of him. So if a man can take care of more than one woman, then, then you can't tell a man you can't have you can't have more than one woman. All right. And neither can a woman tell a man, oh, you can't have me and, 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 and whoever you want because uh, I, I don't like. No, it don't, it don't matter what you don't like. OK. Now, a lot of these men, they pander to these women, okay, because they're, they're, they're afraid to lose them or whatever. And you can't be in that spirit, man, okay? You can't be in that spirit. You got to you have to man the fuck up, all right? The times we come into, the Lord is looking for men, all right? So, you, and these women, like she said right here, this, this, this is their worst fear. A man being a man. That's what, that's what they hate the most is a man being a man. Man, and we're going to have many women, okay, of all different, you know, flavors and, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, <laughs> all that. All right. It says, um, this is the book of Genesis, chapter one, verse 28. And the, and power blessed them and power said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. So this is the whole point of us of a man having more than one woman is to what? To replenish the earth. Scripture says it's just, the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. It says and multiply and replenish it and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over the living every living thing that moves upon the earth and that's our goal or, or that's what the lord set us up for you know it's to, it, 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 it's to be fruitful and multiply you know to, to bring forth a uh, seed genesis 9 and 1 o pa and and and, and, yeah, and the most high blessed noah and his sons and said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth so he told them to be fruitful and multiply meaning have many children a lot of these men don't want to have children either, man. Hey, listen, man, I, I get it. We in a society, but, you know, to a certain degree, we were created to have children, you know, and in our kingdom, we're going to have many children. I can't wait to the kingdom. 
Because they, cause they, hey, hey, every woman I pop is getting pregnant. All right. Every single one of them. Every single one. All right. Let me go here. I'm going to grade close out. I don't want to make this too long. But, you know, you get the picture, man. It's time. It's time to be fucking men, bro. Stop all this, bi this bitch ass shit, bro. You got a lot of a lot of, you know, effeminate spirits out here, man. All right. And these guys claim, claim, claiming to be men. All because they got a testicles, they got testicles and a rod. Nah, you you gotta actually be 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 a man in spirit, you know. It says uh first Kings chapter eleven, verse one. But King Solomon loved many strange women. Okay, together the with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, which is a Chinese, the the uh, and the daughter of Pharaoh was a Hamite. So these are these strange women are even heathen nations. We're going to have heathen women too, man. Okay? And with those heathen women, we're going to bring forth our seed. Okay? If you got a problem with that, then you're not in the truth. It says, um, Ammonites, which is Japanese. Edomites, so-called white woman. Okay? Uh, 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 Zidonian, uh, uh, Zidonians and Hittites. It says, of the nations concerning which Yahweh said unto the children of Israel, you shall not go into them. Neither shall they come in unto you, for surely they will turn turn away your heart after their gods. Solomon claved, um, it says Solomon claved unto these in love, and this is why we we gonna do this in the kingdom of heaven, like you know, you know, because Jake now you see it, just, I, I, I said it, Jake be fucking simping, bro. So Jake instead of you know. Uh, dealing with the woman, the, the woman be, be dealing with their ass, man. They become a servant for, for 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 her sake, you know. Then you start worshiping her guys and doing what she want, and cause she want to celebrate Christmas. Now you celebrating Christmas, niggas out here, I, I hear trying trying try, try to be stepdads and shit. Come on, bro, that's fucking low vibrational. It says verse three, and he had seven hundred wives, princesses, and three hundred concubines. And his wives turned away his heart because what we, we, we in his flesh. But when we are perfect, it's not going to happen. OK, when we are perfect. That's not going to happen. So it won't be wise to have all these all these women now, you know. But in our kingdom, we are going to have many women. King Solomon has 700 wise princesses, Israelite women and 300 concubines, which is heathen women. OK, the Lord said, be fruitful and multiply. And with those women, every last one of them is every last one of them is going to be pregnant. OK, they, they, they're going to stay pregnant, as, as they say, uh, 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 barefoot and pregnant. All right. This is Micah, chapter seven, verse nine. I will bear the indignation of Yahweh because I have sinned against him. This is why we go through what we go through until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Then she that is mine enemy, which are these women now are our are, are enemies. They don't want us to, you know, how, how, how they say it. Um, uh, they 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 don't want to see a shine or whatever. It says, and then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which saith unto me, Where is Yahweh thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as a mire in the streets. Because if you women don't have a man, you're gonna be trodden down as a mire in the streets. You you are you are gonna be you know trampled over and ravished and you know slapped around. Okay. And really, you're going to belong to, every, to, to any and every man. All right. You're going to belong to any and every man. So all this simping shit got to stop, bro. All right. But that's just the point. I want to touch on that real quick. I pray that's the edifying and hopeful lecture. I'm coming to Sharala of Baba Ball.